Hey Brian, I saw your Pensacola Bible Institute bumper sticker on your car. That isn't Peter Ruckman's school, is it? Why, yes it is. I graduated there in 2007. PBI is the best place to learn the Bible, and Dr. Peter Ruckman is considered by myself and many others to be the best Bible teacher in the world. Well, I have heard some very bad things about Ruckman. He shouldn't be a pastor, he hates blacks, believes in UFOs, is a cult leader, believes abortion is okay, believes in works salvation, and that he has been divorced seven times. A Bible-believing Christian should not believe everything he hears about other people. Many meaningful people and even saved people often repeat things that they have heard or even spread lies about people, not even knowing if they are true. I'm sure people have said things about you that were not true and that you didn't appreciate it. Do you think that a Christian should believe everything he hears without hearing the other side, or that he should just believe what everyone has to say negative about someone without hearing the other side? Okay, I guess you have a point. The first thing I would like to point out is that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I know this is obvious, but it bears saying. Dr. Ruckman, as all on earth, is not perfect. But God does use imperfect and senseless people as that is all he has to work with. I know sometimes we need to criticize, but many times it comes out of pride and hatred. Well, go ahead, what makes him so great? People often say he has rotten fruit. But it's quite the contrary. Dr. Rockman has all men who attend his school street preach, and literally thousands of street preachers today do so because of him. He is regarded by many as the number one defender of the KJV as the perfect word of God in English. Dr. Rockman is the main torchbearer for this important doctrine, the doctrine of did God give us his words today, and where are they? There are 54 missionaries on the field today that have attended his school. There are hundreds of Bible-believing Baptist churches around America whose pastors attended and graduated from PBI. I would hardly call this rotten fruit. He also draws sermons that are on all over the world and is an accomplished artist whose drawings are on many banners used by street preachers. The last thing I'll mention is his teaching of the Bible. While most Baptists and fundamentalists stop with Schofield and Larkin 100 years ago, he has through the Lord added many things to their teaching. He is considered by many thousands to be the best Bible teacher who has a great grasp and teaching ability of rightly dividing the word of truth. He has read through the Bible close to 200 times. He has written over 100 books, his Bible believers commentaries for example, are the best Bible believing commentaries ever written. Okay. I guess the man has been greatly used by God, but what about all the controversial stuff? I'm glad you asked. As far as the black issue, Dr. Rockman has personally lead thousands of blacks to the Lord, which is the most loving thing you can do for anyone. Most of his critics who call him a racist haven't lead 10 adult blacks in their life to the Lord. He loves black people, just as any other race. I can say that he believes they are not equal, but hold your horses, he doesn't think that white people are equal either. He believes, as the Bible says, and history and statistics support, that the Jewish race is the superior race. All the authors of the Bible were Jews, and they are God's people, all others in the Bible are considered hogs. Jesus Christ told a woman this in Matthew 15. To get offended and have pride about it yourself is unbiblical. The abortion thing is very much misunderstood. He is not pro-abortion. He thinks it is sin, and he is against it. He just doesn't believe the Bible says it is murder. In Proverbs 8 the Bible says God hates arrogancy. When people are always finding every little doctrine to find fault, and always put people down, God hates this. The works salvation thing is, that he believes people under the law were saved by works and faith. This includes the aunt beginning with Moses, the tribulation, and the millennium. There are hundreds of verses that support this, and about ten verses, taken out of context, used to prove this wrong. While you may disagree with this, he doesn't believe this applies to this age. He believes a sinner is saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. The UFO thing is pretty stupid. If that is a major doctrine to anyone, they need to get alive and get busy for the Lord. He believes they are evil angels. And last but not least, the divorce thing. He has been divorced two times. He has been with his wife for 20 years. Both of his other wives left him. 
they filed for divorce, he didn't want it. There are public court records which you can see, though his enemies aren't too interested in the facts. Doesn't the Bible say a pastor can't be divorced? No, it doesn't. The Bible says a bishop must be the husband of one wife. It's funny, but there are 17 things in 1 Timothy, but the brethren focus on one. Go through the list, and you'll find most of his enemies don't meet many of the qualifications. I went to churches for years, where the pastor wasn't apt to teach, and not a word about his being unqualified. This is talking about a man having two wives at the same time. Paul says that, if the wife leaves, you are loosed, and free to remarry. God allows for a marriage. If a man remarries, and it's scriptural, which Dr. Rockman's were, then how does he have three wives? He doesn't. He has one wife. He is not currently married to two other women. Jesus Christ in Matthew 19, the law, and Paul allowed for divorce and remarriage. It's not God's perfect will, but there is not a verse in the Bible that disqualifies anyone from being a pastor because of this alone. I guess he's not so bad after all. Where do I find out more about him? You can go to KJV1611.org.